today's lesson, we're going to talk about how to generate a table of contents automatically in Word. Now, this is all, it doesn't have to be, you could use outline numbering, um, or sorry, outline levels. Um, but for the most part, this is going to be based on what styles you use. So if you need more information about styles, go watch my previous videos that we released a few days ago about how to work with styles. So I have a basic document here and you see that I put a main title, chapter one, and it's in heading one. I'm using the heading one style. You could use any customized style that you made. It doesn't have to be the preset headings. I've got a subtitle here that's in heading two. There's my little firstborn. Got another one on the way, but he's, he's the first in line. Then we have another subtitle, another picture, another subtitle. These are all in heading two. Those are subtitles. Then another main title and that's in heading one again. And then we have heading two. So basically what's happened is we've gone through and applied styles, the same style to all my main titles and applied the same style to all my subtitles. And we could have done multiple levels here. You don't have to just stop at two. You can have up to nine levels. So then to actually generate the table of contents, what we would do is we would go to where we want to generate the table of contents. So I'm going to go up to page one here. And I'm going to go to the References tab. And on the References tab, we have a whole bunch of different tables that we can generate. The first one here says Table of Contents. So I'm going to click that. And there are some automatic ones that if I've used heading styles, heading one, heading two, heading three, they're just going to work. Okay, so we have automatic table one, table two, table, manual table, so on and so forth. So you could use those presets. If I use my own customized styles, <clears throat> what you're going to want to choose is custom table of contents. And in here, we can actually pick options for what styles I want to include in that table of contents and what level they should be in the table of contents. So if I would have created custom styles, you can choose them from the list. And I can say, I want this customized style to be, you know, level one and this second customized style to be level two. So you can actually control exactly what shows up in your table of contents based on the styles you've used. And that was by clicking options. Now, because I have used heading one, heading two, um, this is going to be just fine. I could pick a tab leader. That's the leading items into the page number. I could even choose different styles. There's uh, different styles of, of uh, table of contents that you have in here, all fancy ones and modern ones and all this type of stuff. So for now, I'm just going to leave it to general from template. I'm going to click OK. It generates my table of contents. On top of that, it has made them all links to their particular section. So for example, if I were to click on chapter two, it then takes me to chapter two. If it, we make an edit, so if I made a change, okay, so let's just say uh, the basics change to introduction, okay? So I'm just gonna go to that section, introduction, back up to my table of contents, and it has not changed. To update a table of contents, all you gotta do is right click in the table, update field, and it goes and updates that table of contents. Now, in previous versions of Word, it may ask you if you wanna update the entire table, meaning all of your uh, headings and page numbers, or it might give you the option for just page numbers, so you can decide uh, what you'd wanna update. Because if we add new pages, put in page breaks, these types of things, page numbers might change. Um, and you can modify that uh, by simply right clicking and again choosing update field. It's gonna, this dialog box is gonna pop up and then you can say just update the page numbers. So there you have it. That's generating a table of contents. You don't have to type these out manually. We can get Word to generate them for us. All you have to do is be sure to be using styles when you're setting up that document originally. It's gonna make your life so easy at the time you wanna generate that table of contents.